Hello and welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll learn how to create and use VI template in LabVIEW. Uh, let us examine, for example, if you wanted to use a template of certain VI or uh, you might be using a VI that has got same code over and over again. It does not actually make sense for you to repeatedly create the VI from scratch. So one of the simple examination of using the template is if you go to the file and new, uh, LabVIEW lists out different starting templates, but the limitation of this code is you cannot actually add new codes into that one. So what we need to do it is, for example, if I change the icon of this particular VI, I'm going to save this as a separate file. So let's say like a sub VI one. And now like if I need to reuse this code again and again, what I need to do it is I have to go to the folder and then I need to copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. That way I can get multiple copies as you can see the file is there. And then same code has been repeated. But uh, the limitation with this is every time I need to copy paste and then rename the VI uh, and it actually takes a lot of time if I need to reuse the same code again and again. So what we're going to do it is I'm going to delete the copies. So when I open the VI, what I'm going to do it is I'm going to save as and open additional copy. Rather than saving as a VI, there's an option underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the save type as and then select the VIT instead. So if I press OK, now as you can see, it has been saved to the VIT. So I'm going to save that, close it. And now like if I need to create another copy of the VI, what I easily can do it is just double click on that one and it is going to create new copy automatically. As you can see, I can double click and it will create pop up new copy of the VIs and it is in the memory and it is not saved. So it will give you the option to save it. So if you want to save, uh, you can save afterwards and uh, you can easily create as many templates as you can. And now if I need to edit my template, I need to just right click on it and then select open. So after that, I can add any code in my template. Now in this case, what I'm going to do is I will connect that wire and then right click and then add the delay in there. This is just for the demo purpose and I'll save it. And once it is being saved, I'm going to double click on that one to create new copy. So if I do go to the front panel, as you can see, the error wire has been wired and then there is the additional delay code. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and comment on this video. And please do not forget to subscribe for future LabVIEW videos.